if there's no crown, no cross in your life, no crown, no cross, no crown. That's amazing that when, when the Bible say, just don't suffer, just don't believe on my name, but to suffer for my name's sake. So that means that if you are a disciple of Jesus, you got to suffer for his name's sake. And it makes sense because suffering means if somebody asks you or somebody introduce you for something illegal, illegal now, you accept it or don't accept it. If you accept it, there's no cross. There's, there's no suffering. But if you accept it, they glory to God, they're suffering. They glory to God. So if a person say that, uh, 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 let's have, can I have sex with you? And you say, no. Suffering come. But if you say, yes, nothing happened. So the Bible say, when a man say he's tempted, he is tempted of God. See, God don't tempt us with evil. So the crown comes when you are suffering for saying no. Hey, glory to God. What I say? For you, for you saying no to sin. For you saying no to Satan. For you to say no to secularism, my friend. There's a suffering behind what you are saying. Hey, glory to God. And there are a lot of people must realize that. If you are a Christian, saying no is where the suffering begins. Hallelujah, because if you say yes, nothing happens. Hey, glory to God. But once you say no to sin, no to Satan, no to sex, not, not being married, no to smoking weed, no to smoking cigarette, no to drinking to get drunk, here come the suffering. So I'm telling you, no cross, no crown. And we are, we as being believers, we must recognize that in this life, Hallelujah. You got to suffer for the name of Christ. The Bible say, if you're going to be my disciples, you must pick up your cross and follow me. And then a lot of people, they're following Jesus, but they want to suffer. Hey, glory. Look like Shakra, Mitchell, and Bingo. They say, we refuse to worship your music, to bow to your music, and we are we, we, we don't want to bow at your statue because your statue is fake. Your statue is not God. And what they did to Shachrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they, they, when they in front of the king, they said, King, we're not careful to answer you in this matter, but the God that we serve is able to deliver us out of your hand. Hallelujah, just a moment. Ain't going to deliver us from the fire furnace. Even though they were in the fiery furnace, God still delivered them because God protect them from the power of the flame. So I'm telling somebody, my friend, no crown, no suffering. No suffering, no crown. You hear me? No suffering, no crown. I don't care how much time, how many years you spend in church. I don't care if you sing on a choir. I don't care if you're usher. I don't care if you're trustee. If you ain't got no suffering, there is no crown. People, that to get a crown, you have to suffer. To get a crown, you have to have trial and tribulation and trouble. The Bible says a man that born of a woman, few days and full of trouble. Jesus Christ told him, these things I've spoken to you, they shall put you out of synagogue. Some will think that when he kill you, you're doing God's service. So being a Christian is not just going to church. Being a Christian is not just carrying a Bible. Being a Christian is saying, Lord, Lord. But being a Christian is like being Daniel put in a lion's den. It's like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego being put in a fiery furnace. Being a Christian, my friend, is to be a martyred to be eaten by a lion, to be skin alive, to be hung upside down, to be stoned to death like Stephen. 
hey, glory, to, to be to be put on an Isle of Patmos like John. The one that wrote John Revelation. To be a to be a Christian is to be like John the Baptist, got a head cut off and put on a platter. To be a to be a Christian like you're like Philip that was born hour while he was on his knees praying. To be like to be like a, a Christian like Stephen, he was stoned to death. So I'm telling you, no suffering, no crown. So a lot of people can, can say they're Christian, but how many people like to be talked about, like to be criticized, like to be separated, like to be laughed at, mocked? Hey, glory to God. Listen, ever since I met Jesus, my family hate me. Yes, I said my family hate me, my friend. Ever since I gave my mother two page letter that she was a witch, my mother showed my sister and brother that letter. And ever since then, I've been suffering for the name of Christ. But guess what? I still love them. Guess what? I still love the hell out of them. Because I don't want to go to, I don't want them to go to hell. So do it all. You gotta love the hell out of the Bible say, when your ways are pleasing to him, he'll make your enemy. Be peace with you. So, be a Christian. Well, I say, think that's straight concerning fire trial, which will try you as though some strange things happen unto you. Look at Paul. Paul said, I'm going to glory. I'm going to glory. I'm going to glory in my infirmity. He was beaten. He was among false brethren. A night and day in the, in the deep. So I'm telling you, no crown, no suffering, no crown. So I said, pick up your cross and follow me. So a lot of people, they are Christian but don't want to suffer. They are Christian but like to put their one foot. Look at look at the church, some of the church, my friend. Look at the book of of ah. Uh, Hebrew, the Bible said, we're comfortable with a sort of greater cloud of witness. But let's look up to Jesus, the author, and the finish our faith. For the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross, despite the shame, and then sit at the right hand of the throne of God. So being, being a Christian is to suffer. The Bible said, how the disciples rejoice because they're partakers of Christ's suffering. So no suffering, no crown. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. And the Bible said, count all joy when it falls into doubt of temptation. Let it try your faith with patience. Let patience have a perfect work entire, wanting nothing. So no suffering, no crown. And guess what? The Bible said in, in Hebrew, in, in Revelation, how that some of those things that was martyred, they did their robe in blood. Listen, to suffer is to say no. Hey, glory to God. When you say no, it comes suffering. It's like a, a young lady that's a virgin, and God's trying to crack on you, and you say no. To sex and no to dictate. You want to suffer. You want to suffer in the flesh. You want to suffer when people start calling you all kind of names. They're not gonna call you a Christian. They're gonna call you a hypocrite. They're gonna call you every name but a child of God. But guess what? Don't panic. Just have a praise. Don't worry. Don't worry. Have a worship. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. No suffering. No crown. And to suffer. Listen, we, they receive. The Bible says some of the saints in Hebrew, they, were, they say they were to suffer to receive a better resurrection. 
and that don't suffer and don't receive no resurrection. And glory to God. To be a Christian, my friend. The Bible says my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Your burden should be light. Why? Because the Bible says lay aside every weight and a sin that easily beset you. It's too much. You know what the problem is? It's too much junk in your trunk. Trunk. Having a lot of junk in your trunk, you don't want to suffer. But when you take all the junk out your trunk, you're going to suffer. So come this way to be a disciple. You must suffer. Every disciple suffer for the name of Christ. Every disciple, my friend. The Bible says even, even Isaiah was saw asunder and glory to God. Hallelujah. Listen. I'm suffering for Jesus. Because anytime, let me say, anytime my in-laws hate me. The Bible says you're going to be hated for the cause. If you ask them why they hate Theophilus, they don't know. So you're going to be hated. For, the Bible says the world loves its own. The world don't love us. If you think the world loves you, that means that you're a partaker of the world. But if you are a Christian, the world hates you. And that's why the Bible says if you are friendship of the world, you are enemy toward Christ. So if you are not of the world, because the Bible says love not the world, you need to think that's in the world. So if you are a Christian, you must suffer for the name of Christ. No suffering, no crown.